CCOS. System initializing. Chemical separation sequence complete. Commencing full scan. Hello, Carter. Welcome back. Denied on Carter McLaren's denied on Carter McLaren's apartment. Name and Pasco? What do you mean? I said name and Pasco, please. My name is Holden. We work together. What do you mean? Weapon detected. Law enforcement advisory is recommended. No, it's just a sound effect, but I guess you got out of my letter, huh? <laughs> you should have told me you are coming sooner, I could have shot you. Here, just put this on, we need to talk, come here, come with me. What is this? What is this about? You feel that, right? That every single day of our lives feel the same. Aren't you getting tired of this crap? I'm tired of what? What have we been doing? You have your COIs to help. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. You're a doctor, right? You can help me take it out. You can take it out, right? But what? Take out what? Wait, what? No, no, get rid of it. Get rid of what? Are we talking about the same thing? It's the, it's the cause. COS. This COS thing, you were forced to have it implanted in you. You had no choice. It's been there since the day you were born. And you couldn't say no to it. And just to think that this, this form of slavery, it has eroded our ability to think independently, to function as ourselves. And if we don't act now, we will never know what freedom is. Oh, Carter, man, if I don't feel good today, I guess I'm gonna come back in another time, okay? No, it's not. Don't you realize the gravity of this? The only way to be free from its control is to take it out. You need to take it out right now, Holden. You need to take it out. There's some of them higher up who wants to control us. They want to manipulate us. Into doing what, Carter? Man, they've been creeping me out. I just can't. Get rid of this mess. This is a form of slavery. And if we don't act now, we will never know what freedom is. Don't you realize the gravity of this? You need to take it out right now, Holden. You need to take it out. Take it out.
Brooklyn's here. I've been looking for you. I've been with you for two. Where have you been? We are missing for two or three days. Oh, Bob sings to talk with last time they met. I sing about the Mr. Tian, you have every reason to act abnormally, but it is our duty to inform you of the responsibility you have since it seems that you have deviated from your projected course. Responsibility? Projected course? What are you talking about? Mr. Tian, please. Otherwise, we would have to do this the hard way. Thank you for your cooperation. Mr. Tian, as you've noticed, since the beginning of our civilization, we have existed relying upon the strength and direction of a group. A group is built on the basis of connection between individuals. The advancement of technology has allowed us to create a new collective, one mind, one. a consciousness that exists beyond the individual, far from our comprehension, but yet all around us. The COS allows information flow almost instantly, making it a perfect medium for highly autonomous sophistication, a consciousness that exists beyond the individual, far from your comprehension, but yet all around us. The COS allows inf information to flow almost instantly, making it a perfect medium for highly autonomous sophistication and consciousness. But how? Think about how our consciousness exists beyond the individual selves. This new consciousness is like a god. It is everywhere. Because we have integrated it into every aspect of our life. We are its brain and its body. It, it uses us like how our brain moves our hands. It operates in ways you will never fully understand. We are not cells. We have free will. Cells are directed by the program which is DNA. And humans behave based on how they are directed by social norms which the COS now determines. There is no free will. Everything you have ever done, everything you have ever said, the things you have undergone, they are all the results of its guidance, our guidance. We are the apostles. We have abandoned the human parts of ourselves to see things from a higher perspective. We are not like machines. We are machines, operated by the being that disregards feeling and only acts on the basis of logic. We can understand God because we can see the bigger picture, and we are willing to execute God's demand. Mr. T, you are like a cell. You cannot make sense of the entire body. Therefore, you cannot understand the whole story. What you understand is primarily the tip of the iceberg. Mr. Tia, I recognize that the concepts I've been trying to convey to you are very complex. I might lead to frustration. If you want to return back to the life you're comfortable with, you can take the door to my right. If you want to experience reality for yourself, take the door to my left. The choice is yours. Chemical separation sequence complete.